One of the things I want to share with you guys is this. My buddy Jim told me this too. I got two guns. They're 16 or 20 bucks a piece at Harbor Freight. They're awesome guns. You've seen them. Everybody see, has seen these. What I did is I dedicated one for primer. Okay? And I used the rusty metal primer. Okay, yeah, probably three quarts into the whole tractor. This stuff really soaks into the metal. I've had good luck with it. I've heard people say good or bad things about it. Anyways, what I like about this, mineral spirits cleans it up well. Mineral spirits is what it calls for to mix it with. I think it does a good job. Even though this isn't sandable, you can you can lightly sand this stuff if you get any runs or anything like that. I just I like it because it does a good job of hiding stuff. Too. A it really does. Hair dryer for your guns. I just bought one, and all I do is I transfer this air dryer, this dryer back and forth between the two. You don't have to buy two. One will do it good. Just take the time to find the fitting and make it detachable. So you can you can screw it onto one gun, screw it to the other gun. Works great. It's got a little push button thing in the bottom. Gets rid of air good. You can even take these apart and clean the inside. And just of really it out. quick, I want to show you with this. You hold this in your hand. You turn this. This comes apart. This is to get the water out of your air, so you ain't spraying water in your with your paint. That's a bad thing. But I just want to show you. You can buy these at Harbor Freight. It's got a nice little. Uh, look, looks like a neoprene or some type of washer there. Then all you got to do is you can wipe your cup out inside. You can also make sure that the stone is clean. Okay. It goes on like that. Just take this, line it all up, and this is what I'm using that. for my rims, okay? Case IH stuff. No thinner required at all. Follow the directions on the back. Use hardener. It'll give it a little bit of a gloss. You know, a little bit of this, like y'all say, goes a long way. But the thing is, you have to stir and stir and stir the crap out of this. But when you run this through your your strainer and you put this in your gun I mean this stuff is a real bugger to clean because no matter how clean you think you got it and you put more thinner cleaner through your guns you're going to have a residue left over this with this so kinda like if you can get the option to shoot this stuff once do it in one day because it's a real bugger Partner. to clean up all case IH paint is made by Valspar I learned that on a website forum. It took me a long time to search that out, but everything is made by for, by Valspar. So you can use any Valspar hardener, I've heard, but it's pretty much all the same price. Okay, you need one ounce per eight ounces of paint of hardener. You also need one ounce of thinner per hardener, or one ounce of thinner per eight ounces of paint. Now don't use any other thinner other than the iron guard thinner with your iron guard paints okay because I'm gonna tell you right now straight up nothing else is going to clean your gun nothing else is going to mix with your paint this is unusual and different type of thinner I've never seen this before this this stuff is pretty wicked actually so you want to be careful with this stuff they mean it. The other thing too is dedicated one gun. After I clean it, I always leave a little bit of thinner inside of it. I hang them outside overnight. If I know I'm going to paint the next day and it's all good, I'll hang this outside. Right on my clothesline. I'll just let it sit outside. I'll throw a towel over the top of it because it's flammable. Do you need a regulator? Yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt to have one. I haven't found a regulator that really works good for me. I've found myself back at the compressor many a times um, regulating the air pressure. No more than 40 PSI you want. I, I had no luck above 40 PSI. It caused a lot of frosting and anything underneath that caused me a lot of orange peel. So just wanted this to share is another that tool that you would will find helpful and I tell you what 
That's why I say with that thinner. I bought paint thinner from Ace Hardware. Just straight up clean brand uh, paint thinner. It will not take that paint off. The only way you're going to clean this if you're using Case IH paint is with Case IH thinner. Like I said, what I like to do before I start shooting paint or anything with my guns, because I store them with, with some form of thinner in them, okay, with everything closed off, clean gun, before I get started, I'll take just a little bit, just a, just a drip or two of some thinner, okay, and I'll hook my air up to it, I get my pressure set up on my regulator at about 40 psi, okay, and I'll, I'll squeeze her off just to see where it falls. I'll lift it up. Okay. Then I'll use a piece of cardboard just as a background check. Okay. Gonna put a little more paint in this more thinner through it. Let's see. I like that right there. So we're good. Now I'm gonna empty it. Oh, that's perfect. And I'm good to go. Okay. Take it good. Okay. Eight ounces. One ounce of hardener. No thinner. Okay. Everything's tight. Got my gun set pretty close. Strain it. Pour it in. I have and let this three hours. I can, so I'm good. So I'm going to take some thinner. Okay. Pour it in here. A little bit. Come back over here. Come up there. Okay, my hands. 